Gary Morgan with Michigan uh, Great Lakes Sports Publication. Today, I'm at the uh, opening ceremony of the 2023 Winter Games presented by Meyer up here in northern Michigan, up here at Marquette Mountain. Uh, and uh, today is sign-in day for people. They're coming in here to get their uh, packets, their bags, their shirts, uh, commemorative medals here. They got quite a setup here. Uh, and we're getting ready for opening ceremonies. We'll take a look at the uh, mountain over here. We'll walk out here and check out the mountain. This is a pretty cool uh, ski resort. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. So here we are. And uh, there it is. We're going to be having the opening ceremonies out here. Uh, and there it's the mountain. They're going to have uh, some guys do the trick uh, skiing. And they're going to call the rail uh, ski on those rails. There's the platform for the opening ceremonies. And the uh, people are out here skiing. It's a perfect day for skiing. About 30 degrees. And uh, it was sunny all day. So big crowd here skiing today. And uh, here at this fabulous resort here on this mountain. It's kind of a cool place. Locally owned, so it's pretty cool. So we're going and uh, I'll get a few words with gold medalist uh, Nick Baumgartner. We got Nick Baumgartner here signing autographs for kids. He's our Olympic gold medalist out of Beijing from the Upper Peninsula. He won a gold medal in the uh, combined uh, with the uh, snowboard. So that's pretty cool he did that. And he's signing autographs for these kids here. So that's what a, a true Olympian does. Hey, I have the man of the hour here. The gold medalist in uh, snowboarding is combined. Uh, what exactly was the name of the event? It's Nick Baumgartner here from the UP. So what, uh, what was the name of the event, the exact name? Uh, the Mixed Team Snowboard Cross. And uh, who did you, who was your So I raced with Lindsey Jacob Ellis, um, right. and uh, we were able to get the gold. And the cool part about it is I was 40, and she was 36, and uh, the kids that, we, that were on the podium with us were 20 and 24. Well, you know, if you play it right, age doesn't matter. No, no, you got to keep going. I mean, it, I, I would have never thought my story would take until I was 40 to get a medal, but I'm just very thankful that my story has that well, part. You're one of those 10 percent that gets a medal. At yeah. The Olympics, or maybe even lower than that. Yeah. But anyway, show us that medal. From yeah, Beijing. check that out. We saw him on TV last winter, and what's the other side of it? Oh, right here. Okay. Yep. So uh, Beijing was one of the first to cut. First place to have summer and winter games. So, uh, and uh, what was your experience like being over there in Beijing? I mean, it was definitely different, being that um, we we're going through the pandemic. I felt bad for the younger kids who this might be their only, their their first Olympics and their only one, and not to be able to see it in all its glory. But for me, I liked it because it got rid of distraction and it made me focus even more on what I needed to do. And then um, I think that was a big part of me coming home with a medal. Well, that that worked for you. And so uh, tell us what's going to go on now. You're still competing. Uh, sounds like you got some exciting races coming up. Yeah, World Championships are my next race. And uh, that's what really made me make sure that I didn't want to retire. Um, I was planning on retiring after this Olympics. And then I went and had the best season of my career. So I decided to stick around. And I'm really fast on the World Championship track. And for me, life's about living with as little regret as possible. And I know that if I didn't try, I would regret it forever, and I would always wonder what if. So now, I put in the work, and we're going to find out. Now, what events are you going to do over there? they got so many different events. I'm going to I'm gonna do the, the snowboard cross and the mixed team snowboard cross. Okay. And exactly what is the snowboard cross? That's like four... Four people at the same time. It's like a motocross race, but on snowboards downhill. And then the, no uh, judging. First to the bottom wins. And then the combined, do they do four it's at a time? It's also? the same thing, but... Uh, uh, four men go and then they record the times and they use that time differential to open the gates for the girls and then first girl to the bottom wins. And now what is your hometown up here in the UK? Uh, Iron River, Michigan, about an hour and a half from here. That's right. And uh, so uh, if you retire after this year, but this is going to be dark, you uh, were racing trucks a few years ago. Are yeah. you going to get back into that? 
Listen, I like um, pushing myself and, and seeing what I'm what I'm capable of, and the and the best way to do that is through competition. So whether it be um, on my snowboard or in a race truck or whatever it may be, I will find a way to get into it. Well, that's awesome. Well, uh, good luck with the championships, and like I said, you're going to be a busy guy with Absolutely. some little ones yeah. who are looking to emulate you and uh, have your autograph. Very well, cool. Well, good luck with everything and uh, wish you all the best. All right, thank you. Cool. Oh, that's, uh, here, here, here with the gold medal winner, Nick Baumgartner, in snowboarding from the 2022 Olympics in Beijing. We're here at Marquette Mountains for the Myers Winter Games opening. Okay, so I do have one question though. What's, yes. what's cooler, Youpers or Trolls? It's gotten dark on the mountain here, so there's the Wildcat from Northern Michigan. There's the parade start. I'm gonna be on TV, but here is the mountain. Everybody's out here having a good